Strategy number two is going to completely flip this on its head, and we're going to skip looking at any code to begin with and just start with a really high level design. Instead of potentially having a very narrow lens and looking at some code, what we're able to do is step back and have a really big picture of all the different parts of the system. For me personally, this is one of the most effective ways that I learn about new code bases. And I would say in particular, especially as a software engineering manager now, and I'm not spending as much time or any time at all in code bases programming, at least at work, this really gives me a picture of the different parts. And like I said, because I'm not looking at actual code, that makes a tremendous difference for me to have a mental model of what's going on. Now, even as a software engineer, when I was delivering code to code bases in my day job, this was still really helpful for me because I'm visual. A lot of the time when we're looking at code and trying to build up a mental model of what's happening, like that can be one one pathway for learning these things, but having a visual representation as well, in my opinion at least, helps kind of get a, a visual lined up with some type of abstraction that you're already trying to build up mentally from looking at code. 